June comes around. 1998. We're getting ready to welcome our third child into the world. My wife miscarries the third child. There's a lump on her breast, 30 years old. Doctor said, let's get that checked out. July 7th of 1998 at 1.43 in the afternoon, the phone rings and says your 30-year-old wife has been diagnosed with breast cancer. My response to her is this. How am I defining myself now? I'm a football player, right? Here's what we're gonna do, Steph. We're gonna find this disease. We're gonna look at its weaknesses. We're gonna exploit its weaknesses. We're gonna outwork it. We're gonna outhit it. We're gonna outrun it. We're gonna do whatever we have to do and we're gonna take care of this disease. I'm gonna to go to Buffalo and make the greatest comeback ever. No linebacker in the history of the NFL League has come back from the fused neck at C6, C7. It's not done. I will do it and you're gonna do it. So I gave her the football pep talk. And that helped her. Three hours later, we're ready to pull up to the James Cancer Hospital, the Ohio State University. I come to a stoplight. I take my fist and I slam my fist against the door. I take my other fist and I slam it up against the ceiling of the car. And I say, why is this happening to us? We're good people. We give the charity. We do everything right. It's a freaking fantasy life we got going on here. You're my high school sweetheart, we get married, I'm playing in the NFL, you're living a life dream. You're a mother like you wanted to be. You know what she did? She gave me a look of disgust. And she used a tone of voice with me that she never used in her life. She said, how dare you? I said, how dare I what? How dare I complain about our situation? She says, yes, how dare you complain about our situation? Why don't you stop for one second in your life? Turn your head around and look at how many blessings we've received for the first 30 years of our life. Look at all the hands that have served us for the first 30 years of our life. It's a humbled man. Why not us? So right then and there, I made a decision because something popped into my head. A voice of presence and flashing lights. What is your purpose, Chris? This question has been haunting me and sneaking up on me for the past six months. My answer came. It came in the form of this. It's to serve. It's to serve God, to serve family, and serve community in that order. And that's what I was going to do. I made a decision. Thank you. Don't like me, thank God. My last conversation with Stephanie was this. I'll be the best dad I can be. And I will continue your legacy. I have money to raise. I have a cure to find. The question is this. When you're riding tomorrow, whether you're tired or it's hot, or there's a big hill, ask yourself, am I like her? Am I like him? Am I like them? Do I have a mission? Do I have a passion? Do I celebrate? I know I do. And the question tomorrow, moving forward, to you. May the Lord bless you and keep going. Thank you.